Today, I'm going to be telling our experience at the Clown Motel and how we got involved with a criminal. We were filming a video where we stayed in the weirdest hotels we could find. And on this particular trip, we headed to a place called America's Scariest Hotel. It was a clown-themed motel built in the middle of Nevada. So basically, a while back in this time, there was a horrible mining accident. Several people just blew up, died. Dope. Super funny stuff. Epic. Dope. One of those guys that were buried, he loved collecting clowns. So in honor of him, the owners decided to build this entire clown hotel over a grave. Like, that's already creepy. Like, why would they do that? Like, on top of it? Like, it's on top of it and next to it. The whole place is surrounded by a graveyard. It's supposed to be one of the most haunted places in the country. And me and Juicy, we're going to stay there overnight. Yeah, I don't think that was a good idea. Did you take Juicy as bait? Dude, honestly, he told me, he told me that he was going to sacrifice me. <laughs> he, he nearly did sacrifice me, actually. He left me in the cemetery on my own. The entire thing is a, like a circus nightmare, okay? There's like evil-looking clown toys and paintings everywhere. They even had the their own merch shop. Ooh, this one's pretty nice. Yeah, it's kind of snazzy. Hey, if you guys want one too, go to the link in the description. It's limited time, so get it before it's all sold out. Plus, it funds these animations, so if you support this channel, get a t-shirt. We head into the lobby to check in. We start talking to some dude at the counter. Turns out he's not the owner, but he just works there. But he knows a lot about the place. He's been there for years, okay? We're gonna call him Dave. Remember Dave. Dave is telling us about ghost stories that inhabit this place. Ooh. Literally every room has reports of scary ghost stuff. He said that even some nights when he goes visit the cemetery, there's often ghost sightings. <gasps> Wait, wait, wait. How much? How much did you pay for? I this? just peed my how, pants. How, how much did you pay for this exactly? I've seen a ghost. Oh, for the clown hotel? Yeah. One billion dollars. <laughs> but you paid all this money for the worst hotel experience. That's a good point. I honestly, they should have been paying us. They should have been paying us. <laughs> they should be paying you. I think it was like three hundred bucks a night. It was not cheap. Damn. Yeah. Damn. That's what I'm saying. What? Dave keeps on explaining about these crazy signings. You know, there's a boy that only appears from the waist down, so he's like a pair of legs just running around. Apparently, our room is known for having faces that look through the window at night. Oh my god. You give it a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> While he was talking to us, this random lady just came up to us. Like, literal NPC. Just, like, imagine. Okay, you're talking to Dave. This NPC just spawned there. He walked up to us, came out of nowhere, right? And started talking about how, like, these demons scratched her. And everything that that this Dave guy was saying was true. And she was she was showing all these scratches and marks all over her body. Nobody asked though, right? Nobody asked. I was like, how are these people real? She had teeth in front of her teeth. She made your teeth look good. Damn. Oh yeah, yeah. She was <laughs> what, <laughs> what are you trying to say? Hold on a second. Dude, I'm not even joking. She probably had two teeth. Two total teeth. That's more than you. <laughs> During this all this talking stuff, Dave's got this weird energy about him, but he offers to take a whole tour of the place and tell us more of the history. And how could I refuse? We're making a video. I'm just saying yes to whatever this man says us. Take off your pants. <laughs> In this next room, the ghost will kill you if you don't have your clothes off. We get him mic'd up and he starts leading us around the hotel, showing us the rooms, explaining the history, blah, 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 blah. The dude just whipped this out. Okay, it was in his back pocket. Whoa. He whipped out his EMF reader. He whipped out his EMF reader. <laughs> I, this? Thought, I was hoping it would be something else. It, it was a big EMF reader. He whips out this EMF reader, right? This is a thing that tells you if there's ghosts, okay? If it turns red, means there's supposedly ghost activities. So he brings this and he starts leading us to a, like the main lobby room. And this lobby room has over like 2,000 of the creepiest clown statues ever. That many? Yeah, actually 2,000. In one room? In one room, just filled with clowns. It was creepy. How pleasant. That's hoarding. That's my safe space. <laughs> and on top of the, the little like EMF reader, he also pulled out heat sensors. And these basically, I mean, it's a heat sensor. It shows if there's heat. And the thing is, he started pointing it at, at these clown statues. And some of them were actually emitting heat, what? which makes no sense because they're not alive. Was the room hot or cold? The room was cold. Is that bad or good? No. Are you <laughs> socks? Are you still alive? I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Are you talking to a real person anymore? <laughs> he died many know. years ago. Are you promoting this hotel too much? Well, dude, at this point, I don't even want to be in there anymore, to be honest. It's not, that's not even a promotion. I, I didn't want to stay there now. I just wanted to go. I have better things to do. Like but the clown lore. But the clown lore, exactly. On a side note, if you know the clown lore, can you name every clown right now? Jimmy. Okay. Jerry. Okay. James. Juicy. Me? Yeah. James. <laughs> Hold up a second. I'm gonna. I knew it too. You. 
we take these tools, we take the heat sensor and the EMF, we take them to our rooms, we put the heat sensor, we put it like next to our bed, and there was literally a heat right next to the bed. There was supposedly ghosts <laughs> waiting to watch us sleep. I, that wasn't a ghost, man. That was me. That was me. I, that was you. <laughs> I, I was saying, normally I'm the one watching Juicy sleep, okay? <laughs> well, well, why why is this ghost guy taking up the action, all right? Did y'all cuddle? Of course. Me and Juicy cuddled that night for sure. <clears throat> I was too scared. Maybe the ghost as well. Dave gave us this one more tool and it was a ultraviolet light. This, I don't even know if this was from the ghosts or anything. This was horrible. We put the ultraviolet light on the pillows and everything. And I, I don't even want to know the origin where these stains were from. No. That was liquid, bro. Hey. TBH again? Yep. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> I had to do it. I got a little excited. I don't know if that was TBH or from a ghost having a little too much fun. It was all over the pillows. All over the... It, the, it was the, me the, and the ghost. There's ectoplasm <laughs> everywhere. It was bad. I swear we found blood on the bed sheets or something. Ew, we did. What? We did. I'm pretty sure you guys could have died. <laughs> did you guys have locks on your room? I mean, it locked, but these rooms were like, honestly made out of Fortnite wood. It was like, it was going to break down at any second. Yeah. As the tour continues, Dave, you know, he seems a little bit odd, but it's all good. You know, it's for content. We play it off. It's all fine. He's just a silly little goofball. Okay. I mean, a little silly little duck. He was walking us around. He gave us a, a, like a three hour tour of the whole place. And I, I wanted to give him some money for his time because he just gave us a tour for free. We regret that decision now. You gave him more money after witnessing like, oh, you could die here. You could die here. Oh, and well, there's I also didn't die, so people I, we looking gave him money. at you. I mean, walls. like, okay, we, we, <laughs> we gave him money. He gave us a great tour. Plus, I mean, maybe that'll keep him on the good side so he doesn't murder us. He already charged you $300 for a night. But that was for the room. <laughs> Bro, bro's bribing Dave. Please, please don't kill me, Dave. $10, don't kill me. I'll give you schmeckler too. The only thing though is that at this time I only had one one hundred dollar bill on me. Insane. I, I, I pulled <laughs> it out of him and I, I gave it to him. Okay. You got so scammed. Got scammed. I, okay, we, we got scammed. We got scammed. But it happened. We gave him a hundred dollar bill and his eyes, dude, he locked on it immediately. He didn't say anything. He just looked at the hundred dollar bill and he took it. Like a spidey sense just came on. His eyes were glued to it, and as soon like as soon as he saw it, he got it, it and he licked his lips. Okay, we have this on footage. He, he licked his lips. No. He licked his lips. Bro, you are about to get Dave. Like, that's insane. <laughs> he takes the money and heads off, and we decide to stay at the cemetery to film some more stuff for the video. This was probably not the smartest decision we made. Um, what time was it? It was like midnight. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> we kept on exploring the graveyard. There was a lot of dug up graves and like police tapes all over the place. I thought that was a bit weird. And at one point, while we were going deeper we actually heard someone scream it's like 3 a.m now we're we're kind of done with the whole cemetery vibe we we want to go back to our room we were done torturing juicy we got our content it was time to go back to the hotel realize it's like 3 a.m at this point it's like dead of night while we were heading to the hotel we saw a bunch of cop cars parked out in front of the lobby okay they had their lights flashing what at the hotel in front of the hotel someone got dave the cops were interviewing about a man and guess who they were looking for dave dave <laughs> There was no plot twist. There was no plot twist to this. It's Dave. Okay? No! The thing is, Dave was not there. Dave has gone missing. He's not there at the hotel anymore. All right? Dave took his 400 bucks and dipped. He, and the, here's the other thing. He was gone and so was a local guy's truck. It wasn't a car, car. <laughs> a truck. A truck. And the thing is, the, the cops were interviewing the truck owner in the lobby. And dude, this guy was angry. He was really mad. I mean, he just got his truck stolen, he right? He was so mad. As soon as we walked in, his eyes locked straight onto us. And the thing is, this is a small town. So everyone knows everyone, right? There's like 30 people in this whole place. And apparently, Dave has been talking to some kids on tour when they were filming a video. Oh. Okay, this took a turn. <laughs> We're walking back into the lobby. We have these cameras, the mics, everything. And he's looking at us, this truck driver, and he's getting mad at us. He's like, bro, he thinks we're part of the scheme to steal his truck, I right? I I was gonna die. Th this guy was like a redneck too. He was like, <laughs> saying all this like, <laughs> like <laughs> that's what they all sound like. You came here to stole my truck. 
exactly like that. This guy is saying a bunch of hibber haber, okay? Bunch of southern bunch stuff. A bunch of hibber haber. We understand like only a third of what this guy is just saying, okay? The only thing between us and him is the police guy. The police guy is trying to calm him down, okay? Because he's this truck driver's trying to like, these are the guys that were with Dave. These guys were part of the system and stuff like that. Saying we're part of like this whole kind of big Illuminati scam kind of thing. Where's Dave? You no, no, no. Dave, Dave's gone right now. Dave's gone, right? <laughs> so the police eventually asked, he turns to us and he, he asked like, do you guys know Dave? Dude, we were like, nope, never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we never heard about him. We never heard about him. No, You're confessing no. this to millions of people that you just let a, big, a freaking criminal get away from you. Was Dude, we were sleeping there overnight. I didn't want this truck driver to knock down our door and like do something to us, okay? We didn't know Dave. We were not part of this, all right? The police guy was like, okay, he just let us go. He was just like, it's 3 a.m. I don't get paid enough for this, all right? He just let us go. The thing is, we didn't have our cameras up, but we had our mics running. Running. So we had this entire conversation recorded. So when does he come into work so we can have him arrested? Or is he here with this crew? Is it is with you guys? No, no, no. No, no. They don't know. Those are YouTubers. Yeah, yeah, that's what he said. He said he was like a part of this. Well, I got this now. The thing is, while we were outside the lobbies, we still heard them talking. They already found and they were tracking the truck that was been stolen. And it has been spotted on its way to Las Vegas. <laughs> oh, he's about to gamble your $100! He's about to gamble your money right away! You're not getting that money back! So, Dave took the $100 we gave him, stole someone else's truck, and immediately drove to Vegas to gamble some money, okay? He, he might be a criminal, but I kind of like him now. <laughs> he's just like me. <laughs> Gonna win a gazillion dollars. Dude, he's pretty retired now. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> he, he, he's, he's out there. He's the biggest hustler in this town now, okay? We try to spend the night there, but it's like we had to leave again three hours for our next kind of hotel bit. We go back to our hotel rooms. The cops have left, and we wanted to confront the hotel owner and tell him, like, the honesty. Like, we, we were with Dave the whole time. Like, what happened? Uh, the actual hotel owner didn't even say they worked with Dave. They said, we don't know a Dave. <laughs> Oh my God. I'm being, the actual hotel owner oh said they don't even know a Dave. So this Dave guy that we were with the whole time supposedly didn't even work in the clown hotel the whole time. I want to hear Dave's side of the story before I confirm. <laughs> no, you don't want to even. You want we, should, we should get the criminal on the call. We should get the yeah. criminal on the call. Yeah. Well, it's funny you say that. We've been tracking this location. Anyway, this Dave is right here. Dave, <laughs> Dave, join the call. Hey, say hi to the audience. No, okay. And then he, and he he's like, he's like I don't know where people are. That was probably the strangest things me and Juicy probably ever experienced. But if you want to see the full video, make sure to check out the footage on the Socks channel and uh, make sure to check out all my friends.